Hi, it's Jesse Murph, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. I really want to know a little bit about your artist development process in the sense of creating these YouTube covers and just covering music before. And how do you feel like that played a role in your development? Yeah, um, I feel like not even YouTube as much as like TikTok. I just feel like posting covers really helped me get like a following and help people discover my voice. And honestly, like being able to choose covers has played a big role in like sonically how I want to be and like just me as an artist. And as far as like discovering your voice, like were there particular songs or ranges that you did for certain covers that made you realize this is where I'm comfortable? This is where I want to like, this is how I want to release my music. Yeah, honestly, probably like Amy Winehouse and like additionally covering like rap songs, but like singing them, you know what I mean? So yeah, those two are probably the most substantial. How did you really learn to sing the way that you do? Just because you have this beautiful voice, but it sounds so delicate at the same time. So I feel like being able to have the voice that you do and being able to, in a sense, control it the way that you do is not easy. So how did you discover that? And how did you go about as far as like learning how to control it? Well, thank you. Um, I kind of like grew up around it. Like I have a very musical family. My dad and my mom were both singers. So um, music was just always playing. And I feel like it just kind of came out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah that's so much luck for you that the fact that you just <laughs> you're just able to sing the way that you do um there's no there's no types of lessons or any type of like um techniques that you do to get to where you're at today negative wow wow jealous <laughs> <laughs> so as, as we talk a little bit about your your two new tracks right now upgrade and look who's um crying now Talk to me a little bit about the creative process of these songs. Like what kind of kickstarted the writing process and how different did you feel the writing process was for both songs? Yeah, I feel like for Upgrade, I was just chilling and like messing around on the piano and I posted a snippet on TikTok and a producer reached out and I was actually on a ski trip. So he reached out and we finished it on a Zoom session um, while I was on a ski trip. So that's kind of how that one went. And for Look Who's Crying Now, I was in LA just like kind of like speed dating with producers. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, and I made Look Who's Crying Now with Pink Slip. Yeah. And I put it on TikTok and did well. So that's how I decided. I was like, yeah, I should put it on X. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you kind of mentioned, referenced it as like speed dating with producers, just because that, I mean, I feel like a lot of a lot of artists, especially new artists, like that's what it's like before you get that first track out. Yeah. You're you're working with so many different producers at a time. So during this process of of experiencing new producers and collaborating with different producers, and like how did you come about to working with the ones that you did, and how do you feel they kind of like impacted your creative process? Yeah, I feel like. The first couple of producers I worked with just kind of slid into the DMs <laughs> and um, that's how that went. But yeah, it's honestly just been like a learning experience. I'm like learning how to do all that too. So just really like taking everything in and um, it's been great so far. I haven't, I feel like everybody has their own type of like sauce, I guess they put on stuff and like hearing different types of sauces has helped me discover like what I want to be. Like sonically, yeah. How would you say they've challenged you uh, to become a better singer and also to like just try different things that you never thought you would be trying with your music? Yeah, I feel like, like I said, everybody has their own different sauce. Mm. So going into sessions with like someone that's more hip hop oriented, my it challenges me to like have more of that in there. And then like more pop sessions, I have more pop stuff in it. And it ends up being a cool like mix of both. And it's just really incredible how the genres can like intertwine. Yeah. <laughs> when you're working on your music, what do you say would what do you say like excites you most? Is it melody or is it verses? Mm, it's a healthy mix of both, but probably like lyrics, just because I like I'm so 
lyrics change a song, you know, like, you know, when you listen to a song and it just like hits you and you're like, ow, or you're like, I like that. <laughs> um, also, I love like super aggressive lyrics. Like I like saying things that I shouldn't say. Yeah. So probably lyrics. So when it comes to your lyric writing, um, particularly, let's say, look who's crying now. Did you feel that the moment you sat down and started writing the track, was that what we're listening to today? Or did you go through various uh, rewrites before we got to what the final product is today? No, nah, for sure is when like, I feel like when you're in that vibe and when you're writing the song, the best shit always comes like right then. But yeah, so it was that day. I think we had like three hours to write that song and it just kind of came out. Cause when it's, when you feel it, you feel it, you know? Mm -hmm. Now going back to these covers that you've done before and the TikTok videos, would you say that being able to recreate these songs to kind of make them your own has helped you learn new vocabulary for your songwriting just so you're not using the same wording over and over again? Yeah, for sure. It's easy to like fall into that, especially like, I don't know, covering, I like covering like old songs too, because I mean, they're not old, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Cause it, like the, I think that's called phonetics are different. So it's just like, I don't know. It's cool to entertain that with new shit and just, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that, you know, those phonetics are different. Like how do you figure out like the way that you're going to emote the lyrics or, or even like those pockets that you're going to use, especially when you're using or when you're thinking about hip hop tracks. Yeah, definitely. For me, it's like a feeling thing. Like it goes along with the lyrics, like whatever they are. I'm like, you just have to feel it, you know? And if it's happy, it's, mm, I don't really do a lot of happy stuff. I feel like if it's, you just have to feel it, you know, it's like a sense thing. Yeah. As far as not doing happy stuff, would you say you don't do it just because you don't want to, or do you feel like it's harder to write happier music than it is to write what you're writing today? I feel like the most important thing to me about music is being able to scream it in the car, being able to cry to it. And personally, I don't scream happy music in the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just never like find myself listening to it unless it's like country music. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. So as your fans have gotten these two songs so far, um, how do you feel like you've kind of evolved within these two songs alone? Like, how do you feel you've kind of evolved as a songwriter? And what can fans look forward to next? Yeah, I feel like definitely I've grown so much since I put out Upgrade. I feel like I've really discovered like what I want to sound like and just the vibe that everything's in. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Just like knowing, cause I feel like that's, that's a process like trying to figure out what your style is and all that as a new artist. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And um, we have a music video coming out for Lucas right now. So I'm stoked about that and just lots of new music um, and hopefully concerts if, permits <laughs> now as far as the music video goes i guess to close us off like would you say that the music video portion of of your artist project is the hardest part for you or are you comfortable in the camera as well in front of the camera as well i'd say i'm comfortable like at first having to come up with like a concept was i'm not really good at that yet <laughs> <laughs> i'm still working on it but as far as being in front of the camera i love it i like feed off the energy um yeah i like performing <laughs>